Well, 90 room hotel in Sturgeon Bay are on hold, at least for now. That's after the Planning Commission decided to delay action after several residents voiced concerns. Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht brings us multiple views. Hundreds of people from Sturgeon Bay stood and applauded the Plan Commission Wednesday night after it delayed taking action on plans for a new hotel on the western waterfront. The public needs to be involved in a larger scale. I like what has happened tonight. Um, I think it would have been a really sorry um, step to take the comprehensive plan and piece it. What I think should be done with that area is the Four Season Market along with some green space. I really liked the, the initial plan that they had come up with. I think that would serve our community very, very well. But some members of the Plan Commission still believe this hotel plan, or a version of it, would be the most viable development option. There was the idea of the Four Seasons uh, uh, building where you'd, you'd have uh, you know, these uh, different merchants in there renting some of the space. That didn't seem to work. They looked at some other things. The hotel was the one area where we finally found somebody, a developer, that was interested in, in making that investment. Some people who spoke at the meeting said they are concerned there aren't enough tourists to fill another hotel. Sturgeon Bay Mayor Thad Burmington also works with the Bridgeport Resort in Sturgeon Bay. He says he's confident the city could support another resort. We don't feel threatened. I mean, I think if there were any two, because this is a boutique upscale, uh, so I don't really think it's attacking the Super 8s and the Comfort Inns and, and some of the smaller independents in town. The Plan Commission members said they would like to hold community forums to come up with alternative plans for the former granary location. If no other action is taken in the next 90 days, the City Council could vote on the hotel plan. In Sturgeon Bay, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. The possible hotel site is part of Sturgeon Bay's comprehensive plan for the Western Waterfront Development Area. That comprehensive plan was originally approved in 2011.